perform energy modeling early. Energy modeling software simulation to predict performance of a building. And there's a lot of different inputs. There's a lot of different types of modeling that can go on. The more inputs you have, the more accurate the inputs, the more accurate the outputs are going to be. When you're modeling, geographic location, building geometry, the systems, the materials, controls, the use, the schedules, the efficiencies, all this plays a part in how efficient your building is going to be. The outputs, thermal loads, system response, EUIs, energy costs based on utility data and rates, and occupant comfort. A lot of owners we find shy away from modeling because of its cost. Not recognizing the fact that the cost, the benefits of doing your modeling, performing modeling, pays for itself by producing a more efficient building. A lot of times when a building is uh, going, at, going after sustainability design for LEED or green globes, the owner will say, just give me the two models that are required for me to get my credits. And they're not using energy modeling as a design tool. Energy modeling has to start at the beginning. It has to be used to design and test different strategies for an efficient building. Don't make it an accident. Make it purposeful. All you got to do in the beginning is start with a box, and that will help you set your orientation. You don't have to start off with a highly complex model from day one. Let it evolve into something like that. You continue the process through experiment. If the architect wants to change their windows, let's see what it does. You know, there, is, there will be a point of no return where you'll lose benefit by increasing costs on the architectural side. Let's find out where that is. Okay, if, we, if going from solar band 60 to 90 won't get us the benefits of versus doing something else, let's do something else. Our model will tell us that. The results of the model as you go through will help keep your project on track and it will assist in decision making. If you start finding yourself off track, it's better to find that out in the beginning of the project than at the end. There's nothing worse than designing a lead project where you're trying to get a certain number of credits only to find out that, that you're short. At that time, it's, it's too late. 